start with going ahead and moving the wall where the tube is and the reason is that this port is most always smaller than this one. I am going to CC a couple of them before I start here in a minute but I want to go ahead and get a couple of uh, trenches dug and let you see that. Alright and here we go. That is a pretty big bump right there by the way. I'd say probably about uh, 150 to 200,000. Yeah, I got it all the way against there. I thought I was tugging on it and it was moving on me, which it does. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, trench the other bottoms and turn them over and hit the tops. As you can see, I've already went in there and dug my top trench. Now notice on the port over here, the end port, I haven't done anything like that. Well, there's a reason. Uh, this set of heads is no different, although I will say it's a lot better than the Assault and a lot better than, than most any of the other China heads that I've seen. And even comes on par with some of the higher dollar heads. Um, I'll try to zoom over here. Let me see. I CC'd these a few minutes ago before I started and I ended up with 352 on the end port and 355 on the center. Which uh, the end port is going to be your hook port. Okay. That's the one that I got to pull it in and straighten out that one wall because it's got a bad curvature because of that bolt hole as all big block Chevrolets do is the key to the trick. It ain't just getting them bigger in volume and a better shape for the monster 2350 valve. It's also left to right balance which is very important. And there was a couple other things I didn't like too much. Let me get into it here. I'm not a big fan of the tail and um, as you can see this one's got a pretty good one right here so I went in there and I'm starting on the top and I'm tearing that whole tail section out and leveling the floor and taking some of the radius out in the floor but what I'm fixing to show you right now is uh, I'm going to go in here and move that wall over and take that bulge out which that's what I'm going to tube and straighten that out first and then I'm going to jump over here and raise the roof up okay all right I'm going to go right about where the the bulk of it starts to get and bust that tail up There's that hump goes all the way back to the roof. Notice how I try the best I can to keep this big hog master cut right in the center.
I bet you if Chevrolet had it to do over again, not trying to copy Ford, but they would have spread that out. Because putting these two together like this really wreaks havoc on port geometry. Of course, now all the good big block heads are like that. Alright, now, we got that tail took out somewhat out of the roof. Let's go over here and try to catch this straight wall side. Now, on this deal, we're going to concentrate our efforts right on the bulge itself. You know, it falls back just like I told you. You gnaw on the main part a while, then keep blending back and forth and back and forth. All right, I'm going to have to pull this off a little bit so I can get in there to it and get my leveling part straightened out. And then we'll come back and see where she's starting to break away right of mid-center port. Hell, I can take this and... All right. All right, there's the slice right there. That's where my tube will go, or part of it where it's exposed. So anyway, um, on this side of the port right here mainly, I take the tail out. I cut that just like I did on the other one, and I don't move too much because it takes that to balance this one out. And then I'll go in there and, and uh, raise the roof and the bowl area and recreate the short term which is going to put a bunch of cc's these 360's man they've already had a lot done to them but I mean just balancing them out and then straightening the bowl and setting it up for the big valve is to probably make this thing flow gangbusters I'm hoping I'll see about 450 CFM out of this alright anyway I'm going to go on and continue on and when I turn it around we're going to do some guide work